I really, really, really want to apologize for being super duper late. Yeah, um, killing me. Well, and now you're filming my underboob. Well, listen, you you blame all of that, every bit of it, on that no good lousy dog. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with the dog? Well, what I told you. That, well, you called me up and you're like, we need to go. We got this thing to do. It's a I, surprise. Yeah. Well, which which you I might see. have seen already, based on the uploads times and whatnot. But he doesn't know exactly right now. Right I'm now. surprising I'm in my video. Right now, I still don't know why I'm in a U-Haul, but we're going to get to that. But I'm late to the U-Haul because Roscoe Dog, I told you I had to get home and let him out and take a piss before we went on this adventure. I bet you he pooped on the floor. No, he's a very good boy, but if I don't get home to let him out, you know, and, and so he can go to the toilet and this, that, and the other. So I go to, you know, I'm like, all right, Roscoe, come back inside. He's like, hell no. That lousy dog. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to run around the yard for a couple hours. Bark, bark, wolf, wolf. And everything he saw, I could not get him inside. I was shaking the trees. I am doing everything I could. Because he knew you wanted him in. Exactly. He's like, if I come in, you're going to leave again. Yup. Son of a bitch. Uh, FYI, Grim. Smart dog. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, you know, you're in a truck right now in a U-Haul. Yeah. No trucks, buses, or trailers in the left lane, dummy. Oh, really? Yeah. But guess what? Well, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> I do what I want. I'm driving where the hell I want. I see that. So I can I pass this bitch? Cause she's going slow. You're not on the left. You're no trucks in the left lane. How am I supposed to wing around her? I am a professional driver. My license says in class A. You should know these things. I have one too, too stupid. Yeah, well, you don't drive for a living. I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm driving for a living right now. This, this is work. This is my job, and I'm driving. So, yeah, I'm driving for a living, and all right, here we go, do hop You're okay. totally breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law, da, da, breaking the law, breaking the law. Da, da. You guys can't see, but I just went into the left lane to pass that slow ass hoe. You're such a slow ass hoe. Please step on it, and now I'm going to cut her off. Yeah, there you go. Getting back in the lane. Yeah. You got her now. All right, see? Now edit in the halo over my head because I am in sin. In sin. I did nothing wrong. So I'll tell you who's not innocent is that dog. I tried to go outside to carry him inside. No, that was just a chase fest. <laughs> he just ran around and thought we were playing. So now, I'd I, finally, him out there. I finally got here. Right. What the hell am I doing in this you all that's louder than all holy hell? I can't tell you because then it would ruin my vlog and ruin the surprise. Oh, come on, man. You are, the people that are watching this video will already know. Because you're not going to put this up for a couple more days. Right. And they're already going to know. And they're in the comments right now going, ha ha, do hot pizza. And they're typing it in the, and you don't know nothing. I don't know squat. Ah, it's going to be a surprise and you're going to love it. Well, I... I'm gonna love it more if you tell me right now. Hold on, wait, we're gonna break the law again. Going around these slow ass. Because they won't move! <laughs> You're flying, dude. You're actually. I'm doing 80. In, oh my god, in this U Haul that's shaking like. Dude. Shaking like a leaf! I'm telling you right now, there's nothing that's actually holding this thing together. You need to slow down. Oh, we need to go get this thing. I'm hyped. The, the map quest gimmick said it's going to take us an hour and 20 minutes to get there. That to me is a challenge to get it under an hour. An hour and 20 minute ride? Isn't that ridiculous? You told me it was just a quick hop and a skip down the road. Lies. Lies. Can't believe a word I say. I, if I told you it was an hour and 20 minutes, you never would have came. I surprised you I haven't told me yet. You can't keep track of all your feelings and dealings. I really can. <laughs> hour 20 minutes, hour 10 minutes, you know, doesn't matter. We're in the fast lane, we're doing 80, we're gonna get there. Cause we're gonna go in a peace mode! Jesus, good God almighty, I'll keep a lookout for the cops. I don't know what yeah. you're gonna tell them when they pull you over. I'll be like, what? No, see, all right, guys, this is some advice, because I heard actually a woman talking in Wawa the other day. When you get pulled over... This is the this is what the woman in Wawa said. Well, well, I had to correct her. 
you over but, the conversation? Yes, and I, I gave her the same advice I'm going to give to you, the viewers, right here, right now. Exclusively on the Doohop show. Well, this is a Doohop exclusive. Every should I put like a banner? Yeah. Wow, you've heard it first. Wow, here it is. Breaking news. Okay. Exclusive. When you get pulled over in a car, the officer is going to walk up to your window, and then you take out your boobs. If you're a female. If you're me, and you go, that ain't gonna work. You probably get thrown Give in prison. Give a little nipple action. You'll get thrown in prison. Don't do that. But. He's going to ask for your license and your registration first. Then he's going to say, Do you know why I pulled you over? And guess what every dumbass says? Oh yeah, I was going too fast. Sorry about that. You're getting a ticket, too stupid! Why did you just admit to being guilty? If you get pulled over and you're doing 90 down to 35, and the officer says, Do I know why you pulled you over? Of course you know why! But well, you can't admit it. Do you know why I pulled you over? I don't know. I don't have a clue. What did I do? And then he's gonna tell you. Were you aware that you were doing 90 and a 35? Holy <laughs> what? <laughs> you gotta play dumb. This is a 30, 35? 90, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think so, obviously. Yeah, yeah uh, yes, uh, mister, we have you on radar doing 90 miles per hour in a 35. I, I, I'm sorry, officer. I think you must be mistaken. It was probably that other car. Wait, so now you're going to go with the Eddie Murphy of what me? What me? <laughs> I looked you in your eyes. What me? The <laughs> shaggy. So he's speeding down the highway. Was me. Doing 98 to 35. Was me. <laughs> Never admit to, to the guilt. As soon as you admit it, you're done. You're over with. Yeah. Might as well throw your ass in jail. Well, just speaking of continuing to break the law, he's been at a good 85. Yeah, but now we gotta go pay the toll. The entire time. Now In the go. left lane, which he's not supposed to be. Shut up. Can't oh. upload this now. Well, yeah, well, I hope you got exact change. Oh, full service. Full service. Just like a massage parlor. Sounds, <laughs> sounds like some of the women I know. Yeah. Full service. <laughs> None of the women I know. Yes, this, yes, this guy, if you're a sure. full service woman, slide in my DMs. <laughs> Hi. How much do I owe? Three. How much? Three? Three dollars. Three fifty. Three fifty? Good lord, that's a lot of money. Thank you. Wow. They got me for tree fitting. I pulled up to the toll. And I said to the lady, how much is the toll? And she says, I'm going to need about tree fitting. <laughs> She didn't look like she wanted to like anybody. No, no. No, when you're when you're a, a, a middle-aged woman working at a toll booth on a highway, you hate life. <laughs> <laughs> you're just hoping a tractor trailer slams into your little toll box at about 100 miles an hour <laughs> to end your misery. You fantasize it daily about how a Mack truck is going to imprint its little uh, dog on the front of your skull. <laughs> She see me coming like a bat out of hell and was like, please end me. <laughs> you know, not for nothing, I saw her almost reach for the mace. She was like, this guy's a creep. <laughs> well, she heard me saying, if you're a full service woman, slide in my DMs. I said that as I was pulling up to the window. Yeah. <laughs> you did? <laughs> There's no mistake in that. That was poor timing on my part. I apologize. No, it's all right, man. Have you ever been sitting in like the drive-thru window and you're listening to a funny radio program? Yeah, yeah. And they say something weird about a penis or this, that, and the other, <laughs> and the person handing you your hamburger is like, uh, there you go. Yes, this <laughs> happened many times. I, that is all your fault. That is not the radio's fault. You should know better. Turn it down. <laughs> yeah, so I was actually, funny story, I went through the drive-thru. Which one? All of them? Well, McDonald's. Okay. I wanted to mess with them. So, like Super Bob used to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was doing his joke, and I wasn't even filming it, because they get mad when they see a camera. Yeah. But they get madder when you do it, and there's no camera. Because <laughs> then they're like, well, where's the camera? I'm yeah, like, yeah, where's the stick? This is just a jerk. Right. They're like, wait a minute. This guy's actually being an idiot for no reason? There's no camera? So, yeah, I bought a hamburger. And I says, yeah, give me a hamburger with no bun. I just want meat and pickles. 
So the lady says, just meat and pickles? I said, yeah, I'm on the keto diet. I'll take a bucket of pickles and beef, please. So I roll up to the window, and they, you know how the burger's come in a wrapping? Mm -hmm. And it was wrapped, and it was just meat and pickles in a wrapping. And she hands it to me, and I pulled it out of the bag, and I go, what the hell is this? <laughs> she goes, is that what you wanted? I said I ordered a hamburger. And she goes, you said you wanted just pickles and meat. I go, I didn't say that. What kind of monster orders pickles and meat? <laughs> and she looked at me cross-eyed and she's going, where's the camera? You know, there's no camera. <laughs> I go, lady, you got to pay attention to what guys are ordering out the window. Can I have a regular hamburger, please, with pickles and meat on a <laughs> bun? She goes, okay. And she went and got me the proper meal. And <laughs> her mind was blown because there was no filming anywhere. I really hope you did not eat that burger. She probably wiped that bun straight up her ass crack. What, you think she did? Oh my god, she totally did. Why did she do that? Because you screwed with her and there was no camera. I don't want to eat bun <laughs> meat. She, Ew. She was working at the McDonald's all day. She was. She may have stuffed it down the front for <laughs> extra cheese. God, do I've got this up the park.